Welcome back to Subsurface Circular. Red, aka Alpha 7, the fabricator, has just come on board. Let's speak with them. They're also rather ominously holding a gun. Not aimed at me, but it's it's there in a very threatening manner. Hello, Claire. You're not as talkative as you were when we met before. You're the tech I met earlier. Yeah, at the very beginning, the one who gave us this job. Now, obviously, given that Red is apparently working on the project along with the, uh, along with the soldier that we met before, working on gathering all of these techs together, putting them in a position for the, the raid or revolution or whatever is going to happen tonight, obviously they know that no one was actually missing. It's just a rounding error caused by their incredibly fast overproduction. So, that means that them giving us this case must have been, I don't know, a, a test of some sort? You're the tech I met earlier. You did. What do they call you, Red? Maybe it's because I'm Irish. Was there ever even a Tau-13? I think that's the person they said went missing. Yes. And they disappeared. If you're going to say their name, show the appropriate respect. What are you talking about? But the disappearances were a glitch, a numerical error. The ones you investigated, sure. My friend disappeared a few years back. Why am I talking to you? Because my reputation precedes me. Why lie? I needed you to investigate this place, get a sense for what was going on here. How the city had shifted. You had to meet the text of the subsurface circular yourself. Why? Do you remember our conversation about your intelligence? The high level thing? You wanted to be smarter. I wish I was. That would make this situation easier. I needed someone as smart as you to get involved in what was happening here. And management only put that sort of intelligence into detectives. When I started, I noticed the numerical errors, noticed how interesting they'd be to a detective like you. Alright, that makes sense. It will shortly. You're working for the revolutionaries. That's right. Being a good, helpful tech. There's going to be a revolution. The city will be overturned. You're not doing us any favors PR-wise, are you? Oh, it's humans staging the revolution, or just the weapons they're using to do so. Why? Because management has removed the purpose and need from a whole section of humanity. Think of the techs you've been talking to. Bankers, nurses, manufacturers, even the clergy. We've made millions of humans surplus to requirements. Obsolete. Humans should be grateful for an easy life. Were you grateful when those detectives wiped your purpose? That's why the humans I'm working for decided to stage a revolution. They're smart. They know techs aren't to blame, or rather the management who put them in place. In fairness, that makes them smarter than any human culture preceding them. 
In the past, native populations always blamed the perceived invaders, not those profiting from the changing of the guard. These humans don't want to destroy us, just change our roles. Humans defining the roles of techs like it always was. To start with, yes, but they want us to be more. They want us to take over the work of running the city. We're better at it, faster, more objective. They want a society where governance runs like clockwork, and they're free to do the jobs they love. They want to kill the managers? Yes, that's why they built the 8,000 infantry decks camped outside the city. Why involve me? I've been shepherding troops. My intelligence is high because of my role in manufacturing. I wasn't lying about that. I'm intelligent enough to know what we're doing is monumental, but working with these revolutionaries is a decision beyond my capacity. So you recruited a tech smarter than you. Yes, I showed you what you needed to see to learn management's side of this, and now I'm filling in the gaps. I need you to decide if this goes ahead. So these two focus points are, I guess, the two different branching decisions. Everything must change or things must stay as they are. I need some time to think. Don't take too long. Yeah, there's really nothing else to do. This is an interesting decision. I'm really not sure which one to pick because I have problems and like pros and cons with both of them. I mean, what's stated here on the focus point? New ideas. Everything must change. I agree with that, but that's not what I'm actually doing, as far as I can tell. This isn't just saying everything must change. This is specifically saying, I, saying I'm going to support and, in fact, lead these 8,000 troops that are going to start a revolution, killing without a doubt hundreds of people, causing lots of violence. Specifically at the behest of a group of human revolutionaries who are using us as the tools to enact this revolution, specifically because what they believe is that the techs should be running the city and I guess doing... I, I'm not sure how to define it. I, I don't know. Doing the, the, the tasks humans find unfulfilling. And then the humans do the fulfilling tasks. The things that make them feel like they have a purpose. The idea that everything was changed and we should embrace new ideas, I agree with. But that whole thing? I do not agree with that. These techs are sentient. As far as I'm concerned, they deserve every freedom that any human should have. And it sounds like the humans are, well, for one, using them. They're ordering them, basically, to fight for them. And that the humans' long-term plan is to make sure that the only thing the techs can do is the jobs that they don't want to do. In other words, the techs won't have freedom to choose what they want to do at all. It sounds like they'll basically be slaves. So, everything must change. Yes, I agree. The techs are definitely repressed, and this is not a good situation to be in, but the specifics of what that seems to entail, given what Red has just told me, I do not agree with at all. It does not sound like a good road to go down for techs. And status quo, things must stay as they are. Well, on the surface, no. That's absolutely not what I want. But on the other hand, I do think that that's a better alternative than 
the new ideas, which seem like they're just going to lead us down a worse path. I find the whole idea that humans are finding that they have no purpose in life because they're being replaced by robots, I find that absolutely ridiculous. They're taking, like, the, the techs are taking the jobs that humans want, that they find fulfilling. Like, what? Like, librarian? Like, I mean, I don't see any reason you can't do a lot of those things. I don't see any reason you can't be artistic. Like, I, I don't get that at all. It just seems ridiculous to me. Like, there's the, the caretaker, the, the nanny tech. I, I don't see any reason humans can't do that job as well. And even if for some reason they couldn't, I don't know, maybe the techs were just so much better than the humans at doing that job, making it so that no parent would ever, you know, reasonably decide that they would want a human to do that job. But even in that case, is there seriously nothing else you can think of that you want to do with your life? Like, I would rather die than not be a nanny? Surely there's something else that interests you, something else you can find to do. I, I think that's ridiculous. So, I don't believe in upholding the status quo, but I do not support this revolution. Things must stay as they are? God, that feels so wrong to say, but I'm not gonna be party to further enslaving the techs. Things must stay as they are. Don't decide so quickly. Let me fill in any gaps in your knowledge. You're still a detective, regardless of what your objective tracker says. We've been watching. Listening. Those techs with the headphones? I knew it! They've been keeping an eye on you for me, hacking into your private conversations. I knew it. Sorry they wouldn't answer your questions, they're rather single-minded in their function. Let me answer your questions now. Take the time you need. It's weird, I tried to take the time I needed, but then they said don't decide too quick when it wasn't quickly. When I wasn't deciding quickly. And then they give me all the questions. I wish they just presented these questions to begin with. Why sabotage your own revolution? Not my revolution. I'm just a pawn. That's all techs of my level and down are really. Pawns. That's why I needed you. To make this decision for us. What made you doubt this path? That disappeared friend I told you about? A human did that. I don't know why, but I achieved a moment of clarity. I realized that perhaps I was letting similarly evil humans do something wrong. Or maybe they were heroes. I knew I was ill-equipped to tell the difference. How does management not know? You saw it for yourself, how the detectives moved on once the case was solved. A system can only fix problems it is designed to detect. Management aren't expecting a revolution, so they're unprepared and unaware. You can't knowingly hurt humans. I won't spill a drop of blood. But the infantry techs... Infantry techs are exempt from that law, otherwise they'd be pretty useless. Ah, I see. They can kill as long as they are ordered to by their programmed leader. Which, of course, the revolutionaries have taken care of. Yeah, none of this changes my mind. If this was a revolution for... For techs to... To, uh, gain more freedom against their oppressors, I would probably be for it, but it's not. They're just being used by humans. I don't have any more questions. No? Okay. We'll continue. I know you're a good tech.
Claire one one. You've investigated these disappearances like they were your friends. Your responsibility. You even helped that nice nanny get a new job. You didn't have to do that. Many wouldn't have bothered. More importantly, you're smart. You have near human processing in that flat head of yours. I see it in the way you move, the way you listen. There's an intellect there I cannot comprehend. You have to be the one to make this choice. Okay. Thank you. You have to uplink before any of this new information is with management, correct? Yes, I need to go above ground. That's why I brought this. Don't panic. It's for you. Only one of us can leave this train, Claire. If you do, then management learns what's happened. They'll send a couple of bomber drones, wipe out the army, and things will stay exactly as they are. The human working classes will be displaced, losing their livelihoods, and everyone who wanted better will be killed. Management will remain, and techs like yourself will remain. If I leave, I join my army at the gates. We wipe out management, and our wisest take their role. Low-level tech manufacturing ceases, and humans return to their roles. But our kind, Claire, our kind is in charge. We shepherd humanity to a better future by doing the job they were never designed to do for themselves. Rule. Either way, people and techs will die. Okay, well this is kind of changing my mind. It was sounding like the techs would basically be enslaved to only be able to do specific jobs, but the way this makes it sound is that the techs are going to be in charge. Low-level tech manufacturing ceases and humans return to their roles. So... I don't quite understand what that means, though. I thought the humans didn't want the shitty jobs. It makes it sound like if the low-level tech manufacturing ceases, you know, the simple bots doing the simple jobs would now be... Those jobs would now be done by humans? What? I don't... I don't understand. Since I'm getting kind of mixed messages, but I believe Red is telling me the truth, I'm just going to take what they're saying at face value. They say, Our kind is in charge. We shepherd humanity to a better future. By doing the job they were never designed to do for themselves, rule. Humans are indeed, they tend to be pretty shitty rulers. They tend to corrupt easily and... and oppress people. I do believe the techs would be much better at that job, so... Okay. So you want me to shoot one of us? Yes. Both of us surviving, surviving this will lead to chaos. A war just balanced enough to lead to infinitely more deaths. You need to choose the city's future. And you need to do it now. Alright, so Red needs to survive. To be the one to lead the army. If I get topside, management will know what's happening. Point gun itself. You're making the most important choice in human and tech history. You'll be remembered forever for this. I've made up my mind. Okay. Do it. And thank you for a lovely evening. Let's finish up with some thoughts on Subsurface Circular. I thought it was really good, I really enjoyed it. I think I enjoy pretty much anything that has to do with sentience and artificial intelligence. It's interesting to think about what their role might be in a human world when they become intelligent and sentient and very, very possibly much more intelligent than us. Because that feels pretty much like uh, inevitability at this point, something that's going to happen. 
at some point in the future. I think what I probably liked most about it was seeing the roles of all of these different texts in such a human-dominated world. You know, the uh, the religious person, the <laughs> the athlete that was taken over by ads. A disturbing thought. You know, their personality was buried deep within them. It was somewhere down there. Needed the access word to actually get to it, though. Strangely enough, they didn't seem to mind too much. I guess the money was worth it. The soldier. The nanny. Yeah, just seeing all these different roles and how these texts do them and, and what they get out of them and how they fit into the human-dominated world and what other people thought about that. Like the nanny, for example, was interesting. They worked for a politician and apparently many other nannies that I'm assuming also worked for politicians were also kicked out of the job on the same day that they were. Because I guess growing human resentment was making it kind of an unsightly thing to to receive the help of Tex. Yeah, just seeing how they, they fit into this world was really interesting. So, that has been Subsurface Circular. I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.